What's up? So it's Rochelle. So I realized I should probably be vlogging me shopping, but I'm basically just buying. I'm gonna be making, sorry, I'm gonna be making lasagna tomorrow. It's vegetarian since I am vegetarian now. It's pretty tough. Thanks, Madison. So I'm just buying, I'm picking up stuff that I don't have already. So I'm just gonna bring some stuff at home. I'm gonna be making it in either Miss Young's block when I have my spare, or I'm gonna make it during my CLC block with Miss Donaldson. So I'm just buying some cottage cheese. I need to pick up some mushrooms and celery. I had it without, I'm also gonna be adding, I'm changing the recipe a bit. I got it from Miss Donaldson, shout out to Miss Donaldson. But um, she, for the vegetarian one, she just didn't do the beef. But I'm actually deciding to use the plant-based Yevies, Yevies, which is whatever it is, ground beef, quite beef, like in quotations, so it's not real beef. So I can eat it because I'm vegetarian. Now it's my recipe, but I'm kidding. But yeah, so I'm, I have that already. So I'm just buying the extra ingredients, so like celery, mushrooms. I've been walking around for like 10 minutes, unable to find it because apparently I'm illiterate and I can't read that I walked past the vegetable aisle like five times, but it's fine. And um, yeah, so I'm just gonna pick some of those up and I'll see y'all tomorrow. I'll be back here, my, I went shopping. And then Miss Donaldson, shout out to Miss Donaldson. She provided the classroom and some of the extra stuff, like Parmesan. And we're changing up the recipe. We're gonna be using the Yves, Yves, Yves stuff instead of just not putting anything. See so everything? I'm back once I start cooking. Hello vlog, cooking show with Rochelle and Gabby. So I preheated my oven, filled up a double boiler, three fourths of the way. If you read the recipe, you'll know what I'm doing. I just preheated the oven so that it cooks faster once it's done. I'm gonna be chopping up the veggies, just chopping them up to however you'd like. Maybe I'll put my phone a little bit down. Oops. Um, oh my gosh, now I need to move everything. I'm so sorry. literally but there we go so it's chopping them don't forget to curl your fingers i'll be back once everything's cut So we're back. I'm done cutting. I forgot to show you when I was cutting the celery and stuff, but basically I changed the recipe a little bit. So I'm using, um, I put jalapenos because you know, like my spicy food. Um, and here's, I don't even know if you can see me, I'm sorry. But here, these are all my chopped veggies. And so yeah, time to do the rest of it. So I'm gonna start cooking. Um, this is the, since I'm vegetarian, I'm using the UV stuff. Sounds different, different. So I'm gonna put it in the frying pan. If you follow the recipe, you'll see that you should put it in the frying pan, just as if it were beef, with the rest of the veggies. And then I'll be back when I'm opening and seasoning and doing all that. So I'm putting in the veggies. So I put in the jalapenos, I just put it in with the, um, sorry, I put the jalapenos in with the celery and beef. So you know, let that cook, and I'm gonna open the cans. Literally, why am I struggling? The oven is preheated. Oh, yeah, don't forget to preheat your oven. And I'm just boiling the water for the noodles while I was doing everything. I don't know if I mentioned that. Literally, why am I struggling? Sorry, <laughs> I'll be back. So while everything's cooking, I'm literally like across the unit because my stove isn't working. But um, I'm gonna beat the egg and cottage cheese, which is step number four. And 
And then, so you're gonna need one egg. You only need one egg. 175 mils of cottage cheese. Oh my gosh, I should make this like a cooking show. So, 175, let me, oh, guess it's not opening. Let me see if I remember my measurements from grade nine. Literally. Okay, oh wow, that's cottage cheese. That's different. Ooh, wow. Okay, uh, this is cottage cheese. I don't really wanna spill it, so like that. As taught to me by Miss Donaldson, 125. 175. <laughs> that means more dishes. So, just gonna level it all off. Boop. 175. makes 175. So now I need to beat the egg. So I forgot to beat it first. I didn't beat it first. Shouldn't make that big of a difference. So either way, it's good. Mix it. It will look a little bit different, but you know, it's okay. It tastes good. And then add Parmesan. So I have the Parmesan here and I need 30 mils, but I also need to add my noodles. Because my water is finally boiling. I need three lasagna noodles. These ones are whole wheat because I'm a skinny queen. Whoa, these are, this is what they look like. One, two, three. And then, make sure they don't stick together. So, you have to kind of separate them and then you're gonna have to stir them while they're cooking just so they don't really mend together because that's not very fun. Now is it. Um. 30 mils. 25. And then five. Cooking involves a lot of math. Not my strong suit, but I seem to be doing all right. Mix that all together. So while I'm mixing it, let's mix, 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 mix. Try your best to incorporate all of it. see my face sometimes sorry but this is what it looks like That's yummy and then here are the noodles I'm gonna grab another fork and stir them around a little bit make sure that they don't get stuck together because that's not very fun am I right I'm right Oop. so gotta set a timer for 10 minutes to do that. Start time. Ooh yeah. 
Shout out to Miss Young, she gave me a zucchini so I can be even more zucchini. Oh, I'm gonna go check up. Uh, I'm gonna go check on my food. So I have a zucchini, I'm just checking on my, I just checked on my food. Just make sure you're always checking on it because you don't want to burn it. That's not any fun. I'm just hearing it. Let me get some closer view. There you go. So yeah, just make sure you don't burn it. I'll be back. So I chopped up my mushroom. I already have the chopped mushrooms. And then Miss Leung gave me zucchini, so I'm just gonna add that in. And then I'm also gonna add in, oops, I guess you guys can't really see that, but I added it in. There you go. Then, according to the recipe, it says, add seasonings. So the seasonings are salt and pepper, pepper grinder. The pepper. You can grab some salt. Just a little bit. I can't. I guess you can't really see me. Sorry. I'll probably move my phone down a little bit. And then, gonna. It says to add the tomato sauce and tomato paste. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Just added the salt. I actually get a stand for my phone so you guys can see me a bit better. Because right now you're just getting my chin. But that's okay. I'll improve on my video skills and my cooking skills during my CLC project. I hope. And then... For the tomato paste, so tomato sauce you need 350. I just use the whole can because there's no point in like wasting literally 50 mils. Might as well just use it all. It's two ones taste. If I cook it for long enough, it'll boil down anyway, yeah. so it doesn't really matter. And then we also need to put tomato paste, so I need 40 mils. I know, there's something So 40 mils tomato paste. Dropped a little bit. So I'm just gonna add 25. And then 25 plus 15. 40. Perfect. Perfect. Quick math. Got that. Quick math. Man's not quick. make sure you're not dropping any <laughs> yeah so 40 mils and then I'm gonna add in some more seasoning I didn't add the basil yet so I will be adding basil and I need three mils you'll also be needing three mils of oregano and parsley don't forget your spices. So this is basil, that's two mils. One mil. Oregano. I'm not putting parsley. Oh, sorry, I put, literally put that right in front of the camera. Uh, I'm not gonna be putting parsley. I'm not a big fan of parsley, actually. Some people are, to one's choice. That's one mil, two mils. it all together. 
it. I do a little bit more. I do like my food very seasoned. So if you want a little bit less, you can put a little bit less. If you want a little bit more, you can put a little bit more. So I'm just cooking it. It's actually looking really good right now. Um, usually I'm pretty picky, but this actually looks really good. So hopefully it tastes as good as it looks. I'm just gonna stir my noodles just to make sure that they don't become attached. Don't forget to stir them pretty often and take them out once they're all done. Time. So I'll show you what the meat mixture looks like right now. This is the meat mixture. There you go. And so I'm just gonna cook it for a little bit. It says to simmer on low. Mine is on pretty low actually. Swim around low and stir occasionally. And then, my noodles are almost done. They're literally done in 30 seconds, so I'll be back. Noodles are done, but I wanna try, I low key wanna try the sauce that I made, because you know, I made it. So, grab a clean utensil. You can have a little bit of taste. Mm. Mm. The beef actually isn't bad. Like the fake beef. Oh. I don't even know what it's called, the ground round, the veggie ground round, but it's actually pretty good. It like feels exactly like ground beef. And I'm a picky eater actually, so like when it comes to food that I know isn't like beef or meat, I can be pretty picky, but it's not bad. I actually think it's pretty good. It tastes exactly like meat. Um, this should be sponsored, honestly, because I'm saying some pretty nice things about this, but okay. And then, um, the zucchini tastes great. Hopefully. So I grated my cheese. I do, I did, it says you only need um, 175 of cheese. I have a lot more. I like cheese, you know, pretty cheesy. <laughs> Here's my cheese. I turned off, um, I took my sauce off the element. It was pretty much done. Everything's pretty good. And it's gonna be baked anyways. I'm gonna be baking it at home since I don't really wanna stay in school until like five o'clock. But, um, yeah, everything's pretty much done. I'm just gonna be assembling it. Follow the recipe. It says, let me just double check so I don't mess it up. It says, thin layer of meat sauce on the bottom. I'm just gonna fill it up in one of these. It's only for four people anyways, so you don't really need a big one. If you wanna make it for more people, um, double the recipe. It will take a bit more math though, and we, know, we all know I struggle with that. So meat sauce on the bottom, noodle on top, half cottage cheese, repeat. You got it. Just a little update. I'm gonna add some mozzarella in the middle because I'm a savage. And because I have a lot of mozzarella. So I'm just putting some in the middle so that it's extra cheesy. Yum. I'm gonna feed this to my family and see if they like it. They're very not vegetarian. I've been vegetarian for a week, so we'll see if they like it. They. I'm not the biggest fans of my vegetarianism, but it's fine. So my lasagna is ready. It's kind of big. <laughs> it's kind of full, but you know I'm a big girl, so I eat a lot. So does my family. Also, um, the ground round, I used the whole package. So it was 300 grams, I would say. Ms. Donaldson told me, I've kind of forgotten now, but it was like 300 grams. So that was a lot more than the recipe called for. But you know, I just like my, I like my ground round. So it's pretty big. My baby. I'll send, I'll put a picture of it later but that's what it looks like right now so i'm so sorry i forgot to because i put it in the oven put it for at 375 i put it for 25 minutes i forgot to videotape it and like the after product of like when it was all pretty and stuff before i ate it i was really hungry <laughs> but um yeah so i just put it in the oven 
375 it'll be on the recipe you can adjust it adjust it according to how uh, your, strong your oven is so you put it for 25 to 30 minutes i put it for 27 just because that's the middle ground <laughs> but also because my oven can be like i wasn't sure how strong it would be so i just put it for 27 because it's already cooked so you're kind of just heating up everything else 27 worked well enough for me um yeah it was really good i enjoyed it i i liked it my family's been eating it so it's mostly gone <laughs> But yeah, see y'all with the next recipe. Hope you enjoyed Chef Rochelle. <laughs> see you guys next time. I have also been informed that it is Ives and not Yevis <laughs> or Yves as I was calling it. So I'm so sorry. <laughs>